So, Dylan's Travels, welcome to flying economy class from London Heathrow all the way to Costa Rica. Today I'm taking you on the journey, so I hopped on the plane and was checking out the movie straight away. United have some very decent movies. I watched Black Panther, uh, which is kind of a very recent film, the second one. And we began to take off right there, as you can see, taking a nice little look outside of the airplane. Looks all nice and sturdy to me, I always find the aerodynamics of the plane fascinating. I got a pillow, uh, very kind of cheap but great to get one, a blanket which was actually I thought pretty decent quality and I had a whole row of seats to myself which meant I got three blankets, three cushions, only one pair of headphones which they hand out to us and we get to keep them the whole journey and then on the way back as well. The great thing about this, this flight is that it was so empty that it meant that luckily I could lay down when I was ready to sleep. All I had to do was just, you know, lay down and get a bit of sleep. So there you can see the journey right across the, I believe, the Atlantic Ocean. And here's what you could expect on the old flight. Departure, meals, nighttime, lights out, lights on, snack, arrival. So I think about three hours into the journey was when the lights started to go down and we had our meal. Um, and they actually have a flight path which you can look at during the, the time you're going so you can see how fast you are you're going, you can see the wind speed, you can see all that stuff which I think is pretty cool. I like seeing the old stats, really quite quite interesting to look at to be honest, especially the, the wind. And here we are, the old flaps opening up. Uh, well, we're getting that positive lift actually. So here we are, aerodynamics in motion right now as the plane takes off and yeah, off, off we went really. And there we were cruising over the lovely countryside of England, right? This is what you kind of see a tiny bit on these standards. And yeah, it's nice, nice green fields, few cities here and there. Approaching the level of where the clouds are right now. The clouds were quite low today, so we actually hit the, qu uh, the clouds quite early, I'd say. Um, always stunning, especially when you're taking off and you can see the city lights and the greenery and then you're going through the clouds. Always love it. But I do love it more when you're abroad and you can see the sun or the sunset. That is pretty much elite. You know what, the takeoff by United, yeah, nice, nice. Bit of, bit of jolting here and there, but that's the English old wind. And there it was, I was like, right, I'm gonna, don't even know what's going on, but I'm knackered because my flight was an early morning flight. So I hit the hay pretty much straight away and tried to get some sleep. Now I woke up a bit later on. Yeah, nice, I had decent sleep actually. I was quite impressed with myself. Um, and then before I knew it, we was way above the clouds. And I mean, look at that. That is surreal. I, th I just think, you know, absolutely crazy. But while I was asleep, the meals came. I missed them. But luckily, I was able to go speak to the flight attendant and I got my meal. I, I was actually lucky enough to get two meals. I think I can't remember what I had, but it came with a nice salad, a, a bread roll. You get unlimited drinks throughout the service, really. They come around with a trolley, give you like wine or apple juice, whatever you want. And here I am saying, you know what? This food is actually pretty decent. Here's the old, uh, was it apple juice? Now this apple juice is an American apple juice and I think it had 100 plus percent of my uh, my daily sugars in, but we won't talk about that. How my girlfriend got a coffee, had a little sip of that, it wasn't a bad coffee. And here you're seeing how high we were up, I think 30 plus thousand feet cruising now, absolutely cruising. And the reason why there's that big tint is because when it's lights out, the windows automatically fade to a different color to make sure that um, there's no light leaking in, leaking in or somebody hasn't got their blind open which affects everybody else. There you can see we was almost arriving at the local destination and then um, yeah we're cruising down right now. It's now landing time and I was just waffling here about god I hate it when <laughs> when you're uh, flying and the, the, the captain comes on and is like cabin crew take your drum seats please. And I was like, oh, don't tell them to take their jump seats. Like, god damn it. Because I know, you know then, if the cabin crew are in their jump seats, it's going to be some serious turbulence. But on the way out there, I must say, it was a rather smooth ride. Very nice airplane. Uh, slightly on the older side of things, I thought. But still, it was, it was fine. I was a fan of the windows and the way the windows, you know, went to dark mode. Got a very nice selection and amount of drinks throughout the whole entire service. So absolute kudos to the old team. And the meals, as always, the meals are really tasty on airplanes. I don't know why. And we also had uh, a nice little snack in between. United Airlines economy class. I would say that I was very, very impressed. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope this gives you a rough idea of what you can expect on an economy class when you fly United. 
Take care.